In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Christmas is just two days away. Let us pause for a moment and realize how much more we should do to make the Lord really welcome in our lives. For our failure to listen to your word and put it into practice, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For our failure to give good examples at home and in the place of work, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the divisions and rivalries that set us one against the other, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Malachi, the last of the prophets, tell us that the coming of the Messiah was to be preceded by a return of Elijah, the prophet of fire. Here is how he describes the mission of the Lord's messenger, whom Christian tradition identifies with John the Baptist. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller, fuller's line. He will see it refining the purify and purifying silver, and he will purify the son of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path, guide me in your truth, and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Let up your heads and sing. Your redemption is near at hand. All the paths 
of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save men whom you form from the dust. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was open, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat, sa lahat po ng itong uh, araw na po ng simbang gabi. Alam niyo po, kanina umaga nagbinyag po ako at mahalaga po sa akin ang pangalan. Madalas ko pong tinatanong yan, anong pangalan ng bibinyagan? Siyempre, mga pangalan niya dapat medyo Catholic name naman o Christian name naman po ang medyo tunog. Diba? Elizabeth, Sekaraya, mga ganyang pangalan. Ano ho? At minsan po narinig ko yung kwento ng isang paring magbibinyag. Ano? So may pamilya lumapit, Father, Father, magpapabinyag po kami. Daladala nila yung anak. So ang tanong ni Father, dun sa tatay, ay, magandang araw po sa inyo. Magpapabinyag po pala kayo. Anong pangalan ninyo? Ay, sabi nung tatay, ang pangalan ko po ay Ariel. Tapos, yung nanay naman, sabi nung pare, Anong pangalan nyo, nanay? Sabi niya, ang pangalan ko po'y Perla. Tapos sabi niya, ay, ay anong pangalan nung pagbibinyagan? Ang pangalan po'y Surf. Sabi ni Father, hindi naman ako maglalaba, magbibinyag po ako. Tinawag niya yung sakristan. Sabi niya, halika nga mga sakristan. Kumuha ka ng downy, yun ang ipangbibinyag natin sa, mga, sa batang ito. Joke lang po. No? Napakahalaga po ng pangalan. Alam nyo, nandito nga nanay ko, natatawe. Alam nyo po, kaka-ordain ko lang po nung July 2022. At minsan, natanong ko sa nanay ko, Nay, bakit? Ang pangalan ko po yung Reverend Father Ariel Adolfo. Bakit po ba Ariel ang naipangalan nyo sa akin? Sa nyo ba napulot yung Ariel? Kasi yung mga kasabay ko pong na-ordain na pare, ang gaganda ng pangalan nila. 
tatlo po, tatlo kaming pare na na-ordain last July. Itong July lang pong taon at isang deacon. Sabay-sabay kami na-ordain. Yung deacon, ang pangalan po niya ay Reverend John Paul Sontiliano. Sabi ko, ang ganda ng pangalan mo, John Paul. Pangalan ng isang santo, John Paul II. Santo Papa. ba diba? Pope John Paul II. Tapos, yung isa ko pong kasama na pari na rin po ngayon, kasama ko dito sa kumbento, dito rin po siya na-assign. Ang pangalan din niya, ganda. Father Francis Bore. Francis pa lang, no? Tunog Santo Papa na. Pope Francis. Tapos, kilala rin po ang santo niya, si St. Francis of Assisi. So, mga santo to. Tapos, yung isa pa po kasama ko na-ordain ng pangalan. Ang pangalan, Simon Peter. Sabi ko, unang Santo Papa to, apostol ng Diyos. ba diba? Santo pa. Sabi ko, bakit ang pangalan ko, Ariel? <laughs> Tinanong ko yung nanay ko, nandito na tawag nanay ko. <laughs> Galing pa usang Laguna, pumunta dito. At gusto niya makita ko dahil wala ko kaming bakasyon ngayong Pasko. So sabi ko, na anong bakit ba Ariel ang pinangalan niyo sa akin? Sabi niya, alam mo Ariel, pinangalan kitang sa pangalan niya. Kasi nung high school ako, sabi niya, Yung may-ari nung school, may dalawang anak. Ang pangalan, Arnel and Ariel. Ang gagwapo. At ang tatalino. Sabi nga nun. Sabi ko, <laughs> pwede siguro yung talino kasi mapapag-aralan nyo. Pero yung gwapo, kailangan gift yan eh. <laughs> Depende yan, ano. Pero natuwa na rin naman ako kasi maganda naman yung kanyang motivasyon. Pangarap niya makami maging gwapo. at maging matalino. Ano? Mag-aral kami mabuti yun ang gusto niya. Kaya ang pangalan namin, pangalan ng kapatid kong panganay, Arnel, lalaki, at ako po sumunod, Ariel. So yung po ang history niyan. Kayo ba, na itanong nyo ba sa inyong mga magulang, bakit ang binigay sa aking pangalan ay Perla? <laughs> o ang pangalan ko'y Tide? O Surf? Di ba? Bakit hindi? <laughs> Natatawa kayo, may ganyan nung pangalan. <laughs> so, ganun no, itanong nyo, bakit kaya? Alam nyo kasi, napakahalaga po. Sabi ko nga minsan, naalala ko, hindi kaya Ariel dahil may kilalang magaling na singer na ang pangalan ay Ariel. Di ba? Kasi pinanganak po ko, 80s pa. O hindi naman kaya yung kilalang Disney character na Ariel, ang pangalan. E eh, kailan lang naman kasi yung detergent na Ariel, so hindi dyan. So yun nga ang dahilan. Maganda alamin nyo sa mga magulang dito, may dahilan bakit yan ang pinangalan nyo sa anak nyo. ba diba? Sa ating ibanghelo, pares lang po yan. Nung bibigyan na ng pangalan, ang anak ni Elizabeth at ni Sekaraya, ang gustong ibigay ni Sekaraya ay Juan o John. So ngayon, yung mga mag-anak, bakit siya nang papangalan mo? Wala sa linya natin yan. Yung pangalang dyan, parang kakaiba. ba diba? Parang kanina, natatawa kayo sa mga detergent names. Hindi po yun. Ganun ang kanilang dating. Kakaiba, hindi yan dyan. Pero alam nyo ba, yung pangalang dyan, ibinigay ng Diyos sa kanya yon Kaya nung kausap ni Angel Gabriel, si Sekaraya, yung tatay ni dyan, sinabi ng Angel Gabriel, Sino ba si Angel Gabriel? Representative yan ng Diyos. Ito ang pinapasabi ng Diyos, ang anak mo, si Keraya, ang magiging anak mo, ang ipapangalan mo ay John. John ang ipapangalan mo. Kaya ngayon, nung bibigyan na siya ng pangalan, bibinyagan na siya, John ang ipapangalan niya. At bakit John? Ha, bakit John? Alam niyo may ibig sabihin na pangalan John. No? May mga kanya-kanyang ibig sabihin yan. Ang ibig sabihin pala ng John ay, The Lord is gracious. Ang Diyos ay mapagpala, mapagbigay. Kasi alam niyo po, si Sekaraya at si Elizabeth, hindi sila magkaanak noon. Ang tagal. Matanda na si Elizabeth. At si Sekaraya, matagal na, hindi pa magkaanak. Kaya ang sabi ng Diyos, may plano pala sa kanya ang Diyos. Magkakaroon kayo ng anak sa takdang panahon. Kaya si Sekaraya, ang ibig sabihin pala ng Sekaraya is the Lord has remembered. Naalala ng Diyos ang pangalan niya. Ang Elizabeth naman, na nanay ni Juan, ay the promise of my God. 
ang pangako ng aking Panginoon. So si Sekraya at si Elizabeth ay magulang ni John. Ang binigay na pangalan ay Juan. Alam niyo na alala ko noon, ang mga matatanda sa atin, laging sinasabi na ingatan mo ang pangalan natin. Iba yan ang, yan ang ipapamana ko sa inyo. Dahil ang pangalan natin ay maganda, mabuti, wala tayong ginawang masama. O kung meron man na ayos natin, ingatan mo yan mga anak. Yan ang kanilang ipinamana sa atin. Dahil ang pangalan, pag nadungisa, nang hirap ibalik. So ganun din po, ang pangalan po noon ay napakahalaga. Kaya ngayon, mahalaga rin po ang pangalan. Bakit? Pag tinawag ang inyong pangalan, lumilingon kayo. Dahil yun ang identity ninyo. Kaya alam ninyo, ito po madalas kong sabihin. Ang Diyos laging tumatawag sa pangalan natin. Lalo na yung binyag na pangalan ninyo. Yan ang itatawag sa inyo parati. Walang iba. Pag tinawag ka, nagre-react ka. Alam mo ikaw yun. Because yung, yun ang identity mo. Pero tingnan ninyo, kahit ang magulang natin yan na itatawag sa atin. Ang mga demonyo, tatawagin tayo niyan sa kasalanan natin. Hindi sa pangalan natin. Hindi tayo tatawagin sa pangalan, kasalanan. Kaya minsan, di ba, sasabihin sa atin ng mga, mga ganyan, mga demonyo, sasabihin niya, Uy, adik, Uy, magnanako ka. Uy, madamot ka. Uy, sinungaling. Uy, sinungaling ka? Ikaw yun, sinungaling ka. Imagine mo, yun ang pangalan mo. Hindi ka marunong magpatawad, yun ang pangalan mo. Yan ang itatawag sa atin ng mga demonyo o mga taong galit sa atin. Traidor yan, yun ang pangalan yan. Pero ang Diyos, hindi tayo tatawagin sa kasalanan natin. Tatawagin tayo parati sa pangalan natin. No? Kaya ang pangalan natin mahalaga. Ingatan natin ang pangalan natin. Huwag nating hayaang dungisan. Kaya pag tinawag tayo ng Diyos, laging sa pangalan. May magulang ba dito na tumawag sa kasalanan ng kanyang anak? Meron ba tumaas niya ang kamay? Wala. Tahil mga anak ng Diyos. Kaya tayo, hanggang sa huling hininga natin, tatawagin tayo sa ating pangalan. Kung ano man ang kahulugan ng inyong pangalan, kayo na nakakalam nun, alam niyo na sa magulang ninyo habang sila yung mga buhay pa. O kaya sa mga ninong, ninang ninyo, sa mga kamag-anak ninyo, bakit ho ba yun ang ibinigay sa akin? Mahaligang malaman niyo para alam kung ano talagang dream ning, ano bang pangarap ng magulang ko sa akin. Related din yan eh. Diba? Gayo sa akin, pangarap ng nanay ko maging gwapo daw ako at maging matalino. Nagkatotoo naman ho. <laughs> Kayong mga kapagsabi, may katotohanan naman ho, diba? <laughs> Di ba? Ganun ho. Kaya tandaan ho natin, ang Diyos tatawagin tayo sa pangalan, hindi sa ating kasalanan. The birth of John was a decisive step in the fulfillment of God's promise to send the Messiah, mindful of the Lord, faithfulness, Let us pray for the grace to treasure this moral quality in our lives. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, make us faithful like you. Lord, make us faithful like you, that the Church, under the guidance of the Holy Father, may be ever more faithful to her mission to be the instrument of salvation for all mankind. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you that all the priests and religious may be shining examples of faithfulness to their vows to live the radical demands of the gospel. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you, that husbands and wives may bring about the unity and harmony of their families through their mutual faithfulness. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you, that all teachers catechists and youth leaders may honor their commitment to give their very best for the proper formation of all the children and young people entrusted to their care. 
Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you. That all those who work to promote peace and justice in the world may reap the fruit of their efforts. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful like you. Lord God, enkindle in us a greater desire to see the fulfillment of your promise and determination to imitate you, who are the faithful one, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of fate. When we eat this bread and drink, this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat. Sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those who have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at this coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Muli po ako po'y bumabati sa inyo ng napakaaga, maagang Merry Christmas po sa inyo. Ano po? At yun po, salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord give you courage and strength to overcome all the difficulties of life. Amen. May He protect you from all dangers and keep you faithful to your duties. Amen. May He lead you in the path of holiness and peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to serve the Lord with faithful love. Thanks be to God. Tayo po ngayon ay magbe-bless ng mga may sakit. Ganon din po, magbe-bless din po tayo ng mga rosaries and other religious articles. Maaari nyo na pong ilabas ang inyong mga Uh, ipapabless. Um, sa lahat po ng mga may karamdaman o may sakit, maaari pong ilagay ang inyong kanang kamay sa inyong dibdib. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, 
you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, crucifix, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.